Hi friends, welcome back to Marquee Soaps. Today I'm going to show you how I package my soaps. So these are two of the four different bar soaps that I have releasing this weekend on February 7th. And so I know that I've showed you all how I've packaged bath truffles and bath bombs and some other products, but we've never done soap packing. So I have my six by six heat shrink wrap bags. I purchased these from Amazon. Links for the products that I use for this video are in the description box below. So we'll just take out a handful of these. And the first thing that we'll do is I like to keep my bright lights on even if I'm not filming because I just do a quality control check on all the bars of soap. Make sure there's nothing foreign on there that shouldn't be before I place it in the bag. So I will go through, I will check all these soaps and I will place them in the bag and I position them to where the top of the bar is at the top of the bag because we will use our heat sealer and cut off this extra and this extra. So I'm just going to set these to the side and um, go through and check all of these soaps. Make sure they look good before they go in their wrapper. Right, so let's move on. These are the Stormwatch soaps, and we will literally do the same thing. Just go around, make sure there's nothing on here that shouldn't be. It's very, very rare that I ever find something on soap that shouldn't be there. However, I would rather take a few extra minutes and check it rather than have a customer contact me or leave a review on my Etsy shop saying, you know, she found something on our soap that shouldn't be there. So we just check them. Now we are going to move on to heat sealing these. So when I got my heat gun, I never knew what setting to put it on for soap. So I always share every, every video I do where I wrap product, I always share. It is between the three and the four, closer to the four. And I did buy replacement this, whatever this is. It comes off um, one and a replacement wire. That helped a lot with the bags so let me just show you because I'm not getting the right words out with it just tearing off so when I had the original heating element maybe I don't know what that's called uh, when I bought it I had to cut it you would seal it and then the bag wouldn't just come off like that I'd have to cut it. That just takes so much time. So a little tip, these are like 35, 40 bucks and the replacement parts, you get them in packs of I think maybe three or five or maybe like 10 bucks. Just get the replacement parts, replace the heating element, the, the wire coil thing and this fabric, it works so much better. Yay, those are done. Let's put our heat sealer away and move on to the next step. Okay, so I do wear one of my winter gloves and I just take one stack, turn my heat gun on low, let it warm up for a minute. 
put my hand on top. And just work my way around the bar. So now we will take each individual bar and just kind of clean them up. a shrimp wrapped bar of soap that's ready for a label. So let's keep going and get these done. So we have all of our labels printed now. So here are the rainbow ones and the storm watch. And now we're just going to put these on. Very, very simple. So there's the front label. And then I do have a label for the back. And there it is. So I'm just going to label all these up. I thank you, oops. Thank you everyone so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow with a new video that I don't know what it is yet. We still have to make bath truffles. We have to make, what else do I need to make still? conditioner bars, bath truffles, and perfume oils before our next release. So we'll be back with one of those tomorrow. And this is the 30 videos in 30 days. So thanks for watching. And like I said, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.